Iraq's caretaker, Prime Minister Mustafa al Qadimi made a plea for dialogue and concessions among political parties after supporters of the Shiite cleric Muqtada al Sadr stormed the Iraqi parliament. Here's a detailed report. Slogans, protest, violence. Supporters of Shiite cleric Muqtada al-Sadr stormed into Iraq's parliament to protest the government formation efforts led by Iran-backed groups. An expected parliament session did not take place and there were no lawmakers in the parliament. Protesters claim that they barged into the parliament to root out the corrupt political parties and the military. لا لقد دخل مجلس النواب والمرة والمرة الثالثة لطرد الفاسدين وال والأحزاب والميليشيات وتصليح العراق وارجاع العراق إلى وضعه الصحيح وانقاذ الناس البريئة بفضل بفضل الشعب بفضل الله وسيد قائد مقتدى الصدر. Iraq's caretaker Prime Minister Mustafa Al Qadimi called for restraint and asked for a negotiation and reached an understanding for the sake of Iraq and Iraqis. إن الظرف صعب جدا وهذه حقيقة مرة مع الأسف الشديد وعلينا أن نتعاون ونتكاتف جميعا حتى لا ندفع بأنفسنا إلى الهاوية علينا أن نحكم عقولنا ضمائرنا وجداننا ونلتف حول العراق والعراقيين لا حول المصارح الضيقة Kadimi also said that Iraq is looking for a future that is equal to the size of sacrifices and the struggle they have gone through. شعبنا تواق للحياة وهو لا يهوى الفتن والدم والاقتتال والانتقام والتناحر ولا يهوى الحقد والكراهية ويطلع لمستقبل يوازي حجم التضحيات والمعاناة التي مر بها وعليه. Karimi also stressed an immediate solution and hope for a meaningful dialogue for a fruitful future. سنتحمل مسؤولية وحاضرون لنفعل أي شيء من أجل العراق ودون تردد المعضلة السياسية وحلها سياسي والحل ممكن عبر الحوار الصادق البناء. وتقديم التنازلات من أجل العراق والعراقيين. With political unrest brewing in Iraq, protesters continued their march towards the parliament and demanded for the proper rule of law and governance. Agency reporter, Public TV. And uh, now let's take a look at more international stories. A nine-year-old girl was stabbed to death by her sister in the United Kingdom's Boston. Lincolnshire police made an urgent appeal to the public for help in identifying a man as part of the investigation into the stabbing of the nine-year-old girl. Relatives of captured Ukrainian soldiers held a demonstration in Kyiv demanding information on the situation of their loved ones. Protesters were dressed in black and as a mark of respect as uh, they demonstrated for information after a rocket strike on a detention center in the village of Olenvika where over 50 Ukrainians captured personnel were killed and dozens were injured. Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi met his Kyrgyz counterpart in a bilateral visit. The ministers discussed trade and economic cooperation, security issues and the regional agenda, as well as future development of bilateral relations. Remember, 2022 marks the 30th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between the two countries. Protesters breached Iraq's parliament for the second time in a week to protest against the government formation efforts led by Iran-backed groups. 
Demonstrators occupied the parliament floor, raising the Iraqi flag and portraits of Iraqi leader Al Sadr. Authorities claim that the protests are a pressure tactic to derail government formation efforts led by his political rivals in the coalition framework.